avoir eu des moods. Yesterday's landscape is no more. Where am I now? Where do I go from here? Do I need to know? My name is Guy Laramie. I live in the city of Montreal, Canada. I have been mostly known for the landscapes and architectures that I carve out of books. I said Montreal, but I don't believe artists live anywhere else than in their work. I travel to many places in my life, but I never really leave my work. Here, in Montreal, I have a studio, go there every day, and forget about what we call the world. I guess this is what we call home. A place where you stop thinking about externals. A place that brings you back to the most fundamental intimacy. A face-to-face -face with yourself. Every day I ask myself, why am I doing that? Carving books into landscapes. And every day, when I enter the studio, all my doubts vanish. Most people make very useful stuff. I do the most useless thing in life. Art. Sculpting, painting, drawing, making all sorts of silly experiments. Book landscaping, imagine. There are no real reasons for doing this. I used to think that doing this was a kind of revenge. Too many books, too much emphasis on filling our heads with useless stuff, too much importance given to the intellect, too much focus on purpose. I mean, what could be more important than looking at a mountain or looking at the sky and the clouds? Just doing the things you do, to do them without trying to explain them or tie them to a cause, a mission, a function. Just doing it for the joy of doing it. That liberates. Really. The beauty of that work is that every insight is going to be eaten up by another insight. We feel like we're walking towards a final revelation and that throughout our life we accumulate knowledge and wisdom. But the truth is that every discovery will destroy the previous ones. But we, humans, cannot do that. As soon as we look at things, we start putting labels on them and then labels on labels. That's how we are. So I thought that my art was a reaction to this human madness. 
but no. After many years, I realized that this is not the case. I just carve landscapes, that's all. No reasons. Maybe that is the only definition of art that remains. No agenda, no role to fulfill, nothing to accomplish. Just the daily practice of not knowing. Maybe not knowing is a good way to see art. Not as a failure to know, but not knowing as the most precious thing on earth. Not knowing as a way of expressing being. Instead of knowing the world, how about being the world?